Hey there, slow cooking is definitely one of the best methods of cooking at this time of year. Just because you're not going to be heating up your house by using your oven or your stove. So today I will be sharing six new dump and go easy slow cooker recipes with you. These are family favorites for sure. Let's go get started. To start us off today, we are making a meatless meal. The slow cooker creamy tortellini is amazing. So to your slow cooker, spray it with some nonstick spray just for easy cleanup in the end. Then add in an 18 ounce bag of refrigerated cheese tortellini. You could really use any type of cheese tortellini you like. Next, add in a cup of baby spinach. And then after that, add in eight ounces of cream cheese. Make sure you cube your cream cheese. It will just melt down better like that. Now I'm going to add in a 14 ounce can of diced tomatoes, then toss in a cup and a half of chicken broth, then one cup of shredded cheddar cheese. Now for the seasonings, I'm adding in a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of pepper, a teaspoon of garlic powder, onion powder, and Italian seasoning. Give this a good stir and then you are going to put the lid on top and cook this on low for about two and a half to three hours. This might not look like much once the cooking time is up, but give this a gentle stir just so you don't break the cheese tortellini. And then once the cream cheese is well combined, you could serve this up. And let me tell you, this has to be one of my all-time favorite slow cooker recipes. It is just so rich in flavor. My whole family loves it. And we had a little bit left over, so I had some leftovers for lunch the next day and it reheats wonderfully. Okay, you are going to be obsessed with these two ingredient salsa verde tacos. They are so easy to make. To my slow cooker, I'm adding in my two large chicken breasts. My chicken was frozen just because I forgot to take it out in time to thaw. And then right over the chicken, add in a 16 ounce jar of salsa verde. You could use any brand or any type you like. Cook this on low for about five to six hours. And once the cooking time is up and your chicken is completely cooked through, shred it with two forks and then we like to serve this in flour tortillas with cheese, cilantro, tomatoes, and avocado but you could also serve this chicken over rice or really however you choose to do so. This chicken is really really good. You gotta make this recipe. Now we're making this creamy chicken pasta and it is so heavenly. To your slow cooker, spray it with nonstick spray. Then you're going to want to add in your two large chicken breasts. It's about a pound and a half of chicken. Now I'm adding in a 10 ounce can of Rotel followed by two 10 ounce cans of cream of chicken soup. And then for the seasonings, toss in a half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of pepper, and then a teaspoon of onion powder, garlic powder, oregano, and Italian seasoning. That is all you have to do. Give this a stir and then cook this on low for about six to seven hours or until the chicken is completely cooked through. When the slow cooker time is almost up, to a pot of boiling water on the stove, add in about a pound of penne pasta, cook it according to the package instructions while it's cooking away, and my slow cooker time is up now and my chicken is cooked through. I am just going to cube up my chicken, or you could shred it if you like. Just add that cubed chicken back into your slow cooker after you are through cubing it up. Next, you're going to want to add in about a half a cup of shredded cheddar cheese and a half a cup of sour cream. This is going to make this kind of like a pasta sauce. It is going to be like rich, creamy, and cheesy. Give it a good stir and let the cheese melt down and the sour cream combine right now. Once the pasta is cooked through, all you have to do is add that cooked pasta right into your slow cooker and give this a stir. Kind of like let the sauce coat the pasta and then you could serve this up. And let me tell you, you are going to be eating a plate of this without realizing you finish the entire plate and you'll be going back for seconds. It really is that good. We really enjoy it. And then if you have any leftovers, this reheats super well to have it for lunch or dinner the next day. 
Okay, who said you can't have peach cobbler for dinner? Well, I've been craving peach cobbler, so now that's what we're making. To your slow cooker, add in two 21 ounce cans of peach pie filling, or you could use any pie filling, for example, like apple, blueberry, strawberry, cherry, really any of those would work. Now I'm going to add in 10 ounces of a vanilla box of cake mix. Don't add the entire box in, just 10 ounces. Next, sprinkle a fourth a cup of brown sugar all all over the top and then place about a cup of sliced butter over that cook this on low for about two and a half to three hours and then you could serve this up You can't have peach cobbler without a side of vanilla ice cream, and you know what? We don't have dessert for dinner often, but it was really good on this night. You could also make this just for regular dessert, and this cobbler is absolutely delicious. If you've never made dessert in your slow cooker, I definitely, definitely recommend it. I really think you are going to like this beef teriyaki ramen, so to the pan on my stove, I'm adding one pound of ground beef right in there. Break that ground beef up and cook it through. Once it's completely cooked through, remove any excess grease from the pan and set it to the side. We're going to work on the teriyaki sauce now, so to this little bowl, add in two and a half cups of either chicken or beef broth, then toss in two tablespoons of brown sugar, a tablespoon of minced garlic, and a half a cup of low sodium soy sauce. Give this a really good whisk and then set this teriyaki sauce to the side. Sometimes when I know I'm going to have a really crazy night and I don't feel like cleaning my slow cooker after we eat dinner, I use one of these slow cooker liners. I got mine from Amazon. I'll have them linked for you guys in the description box below this video along with all the slow cookers that I am using today. But I just lined my slow cooker with that liner then I added my ground beef right in there. I also added in a couple of shredded carrots, a half of a red bell pepper that I sliced, one yellow onion that I cubed, and the teriyaki sauce. Give this a stir and cook this on low for about five hours. Now that the cooking time is up, this is the fun part. Give this another stir, and then you are going to want to add in two bags of instant ramen noodles. These are the ramen noodles that my store had, but you could use really any type or any brand. Just make sure you do remove the seasoning packet and just don't use it for this recipe. You could save the seasoning packet for other recipes though. And then I added in about a fourth a cup of water and let this cook for about 30 more minutes. You do want to stir it occasionally while it's cooking just so those noodles do cook evenly and then you could serve this. We topped ours with some sliced green onions and sesame seeds. This really is so easy to make and if you have a bunch of ramen noodles on hand, this is a good way to use them up. This one is a total crowd pleaser. I'm sure you are really, really going to enjoy it. I don't make regular sweet and sour chicken often just because it is a little bit more complicated to make, but this slow cooker version is easy and just as good. So to get it started, dice up your red bell pepper, green bell pepper, and a half of a yellow onion. Set those veggies to the side. We're going to work on the sweet and sour sauce now. So to this bowl, add in a fourth a cup of cornstarch and a half a cup of apple cider vinegar. Whisk those two ingredients together super well until the cornstarch is no longer clumped. This will help thicken up your sauce. Next, add in two tablespoons of low sodium soy sauce, a tablespoon of minced garlic, third a cup of ketchup, a half a cup of brown sugar, and about a half a cup of pineapple juice. Whisk this together well. Over to my slow cooker, I'm adding in about a pound and a half of chicken breast that I cubed. You could always double this recipe for more people or half it if you'd like. I also added in the peppers and onions and then about 10 ounces of pineapple chunks. Add in the sweet and sour sauce and give this a stir. Cook this on low for about five hours or high for about three hours or until the chicken is cooked through. 
Oh man, I really wish that you guys could be smelling my house at this point. My house was smelling so good, like sweet and sour chicken. All you have to do at this point is give it a stir and then you could serve this up. We love to serve our sweet and sour chicken over white rice, but you could serve this over anything that you'd like. This really is so extremely flavorful, very easy to make, and then it is healthier than regular sweet and sour chicken because it doesn't have like a fried coating on it. It really is so good. I have so many more dinner videos like this on my channel, so make sure you're subscribed down below the video so you don't miss the next one. I'll see you there. Bye for now.